the transition that you guys have had, you know, just in one year, the season in 2017 to the season 2018, how do you guys keep that momentum going heading into this year? I think definitely one thing that helped us last year, we had great team chemistry, and this year we've been working really hard to just not only be teammates but friends off the field, and, and we've been working at that a lot, and I think it's really going to show great team chemistry again this year. Um, Coach said that the unit that really is going to stand out this year is in the trenches, and you are obviously commanding that as a veteran O lineman. What have you been working on, you know, in the off season and heading into fall camp that you think is really going to help stimulate the offense? Definitely just getting stronger, getting as strong as we can, staying healthy, and really pushing our guys out, running, conditioning. This is really going to help out in the trenches. Coach also said that the motivation comes from the tradition of Radford. What specifically do you consider the tradition of the football team? Definitely just we, we've always had a good team, lots, lots of good winning teams, and I'm hoping to continue that this year. Um, to lose how you guys did, you know, against Graham, what are the steps you guys are taking to, you know, make it one game further this season? I, mean, I know me personally that has motivated me every day to go and work as hard as I can, get one extra rep one extra sprint and I know my, my guys out here have done the same thing so it's definitely motivated us to, to get better so we can get to that one one extra game. And coach has been here for a long time. Do you see a difference in um, the way he coaches or the way he motivates from year to year or is he just you know pretty solid in the way that he continues to like get you guys going and win a game? No, he's consistent. He's, he's always done a great job and I think he, now we have Sergio Render coming in on the offensive line. I think that really was a big difference last year to this year, or two years ago to last year. Really changing our up our offense and, and teaching us, teaching the O line technique, which really changed the game. And that's not something you see pretty often in high school school high school schools high school football teams. Is that everything is starting on the offensive line? Why do you think that makes you guys so special and stand out? Uh, definitely, we we just we have a great unit this year and and. Uh, we're, I think it's going to be a great year with, with our guys. Um, Vandy, I mean, uh, is it exciting to have that out the way and the opportunity to go to the next level? It's, defi it's definitely really exciting. I, I, I'm very blessed with all the opportunities I, I've been given, and I'm really excited. One, one more year out here with Radford, I'm excited to do everything I can to, to bring, bring one back. What do you guys have to do to continue this upward transition going from 2017 to now? Um, we just got to stay humble. I mean, we had a great season last year. We know we have a good team again this year, but we can't let that get to us. We got to work hard every day and prepare for each game each week. And um, we were talking a lot about, you know, the offensive line. What about the linebacker and the defensive unit that you guys think you can really capitalize on this season? Um, we lost a few people on defense, but I think we definitely have some younger guys stepping up that have been working hard and can fill them roles. And we just, we get after it, and I'm excited for that. We've always gotten after it. What do you consider the tradition of this football team? Um, definitely hard work. We, always, we haven't always had a ton of people, but the people we have, they always give it all, give it 110 percent, so always working hard and best we can. Um, what do you consider, you know, Coach's main point of emphasis year to year because he's been here so long to keep you guys motivated and moving? Um, he always just wants effort. He wants the guy that's in there that's going to give him the most effort and going to be coachable and listen to what he says. and. If he can find that guy, that's who he's going to play. So he's always been consistent about that. And what do you consider, you know, the main point of focus for the players, for you guys, not that a coach is preaching, to get you guys one game further than you finished last year? Um, I think it's just the week of practice before the game. We always got to stay focused. If we are, then we all know we're ready for that week. And so we try to, at the beginning of the week, the seniors kind of step up and tell them to make sure you're focused. And once we all know we're on the same page, then we'll be ready. What would you consider the most surprising thing about this team if nobody, you know, if they were just looking from the outside in? Um, a lot of people just look at our size. I mean, obviously we have Ben, and he's a big guy. We have new Kip. He transferred this year. He's big. But a lot of us are pretty small, and so people expect us to be less physical. But that's not the case. We've always been real physical and hit people pretty hard. 